Hey, what's good? So today I wanted to do a video on kind of like my tattoo <laughs> and piercings video type thing. Mainly just because I kind of want to have it for like the future and stuff. Kind of just so like this is where I started and like the growth of what I'm going to have basically if that makes sense um so this video is more kind of for myself but I kind of wanted to put it out there you know like you know so it's like you know but um so I'm gonna go over all of my piercings um from the first ones to my last ones I'm gonna talk about how I got it the pain you know whatever whatever so first we'll start off with my first ones right here um right now i just got real diamonds in them um i took the earrings from my dad because they were his ex-girlfriends and he told me he would give it to me when he was ready but he never gave it to me so i just took them because i need new earrings so yeah but i got those when i was a baby and I learned how to unscrew the back of them because it had a screw on it. And so that kind of didn't work out too well. So yeah, that's fun. So I had to re-pierce it like one or two times or something like that throughout like the years. But um, I don't really remember what it felt like. But I'm just going to guess it was like around like a two because I know it didn't hurt that bad. Um, I got them done at Claire's, I think for the most part. <laughs> Um, since we're going in order, I guess we should go to my cartilage. Um, freaking, well, no, technically, my seconds, I got done second. Um, I went in and I got them like around 10 or something like that. Um, basically... I had to take those out, I'm pretty sure, because I did re-pierce them myself. Um, but my first ever piercing that I pierced myself was my cartilage, and we'll get into that. But um, these, again, were like a two or a three. They didn't hurt bad. The higher up you get it, the more they hurt, but it still didn't hurt that bad. Um, but when I re-pierced them myself, they hurt more. But, um yeah so they when i re-pierced them it was probably like a four or five something like that because it's just like a mental thing it hurts more when you do it and everything but yeah so i just got these like little balls in here right now if you can see um this one has a screw on back you can't see it but it has a screw on back and the ball fell out and i lost it when i was making this video before because this is like my second time making it but this one just is like a regular one so they're two different ones um and then after that i got my cartilage done and i just have this like little thing in it like a little ooh. No, no, the ball keeps coming off of the, okay guys, so I'm back, I finally got it in, it was so annoying, but um, yeah, so I just have this like little horseshoe in it or whatever, like type of piercing, or like, 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 earring or whatever. Um, but I got it first done at Claire's, and, um, first, don't do that, that's bad, and second of all, it hurt, and it was really red, and it got infected, and then the earring actually got embedded in my ear, so that was a really, like, just a whole really bad thing, and it hurt really bad, so I took it out, let it heal for about a year, and then I re-pierced it myself, um, and I th that was the first piercing I ever did myself, and I did it really poorly. I didn't even use a, 
a piercing needle or nothing I didn't know what I was doing I just did it and I remember it taking me like a long time to do it it was very painful blood everywhere like it was it was bad but it was definitely experience and um yeah so when I first got it at Claire's it was probably about a five it was like quick and easy like it, it wasn't bad at all maybe it was probably it was about a five and then when I did it myself it was probably about a six and a half seven because again a mental thing that it hurts more when you do it yourself and then also like the way I did it it's just terrible ignore my hair it's just like doing whatever it's doing it's fine um and then I had got my thirds done I well I did them myself and then my ears go back and forth on being like allergic to like my earrings and stuff and so they were allergic for one like for a little period of time and so I had to take all my earrings out and sadly they closed up and I have yet to re-pierce them but I've been thinking about it recently but I haven't gotten to it yet but uh yeah so that's what's going on with my ears up there um because I've re-pierced my ears multiple times myself but like I just that's it, like a normal thing for me now but um going on to my one two three four fifth piercing I did this about five or so months ago in December um and yeah it was probably like my biggest piercing I've ever done myself and um definitely took a lot of courage but I did my belly button it's a little like ignore my outfit but it's a little crooked how I pierce it but you know it's fine and this is like a really pretty like belly button ring that I pierced it with and I just bought it online like cheap or whatever this what, what what what's going on here? Uh, technical difficulties. Oh. Um. So when I did it, again, it was a mental thing. Hurt a lot worse than it like probably would have if I got it done like from somebody else. But um, it was probably like like a seven, six and a half six somewhere around there between the six and the seven but um yeah it it wasn't like as bad as I thought it would be it, I think it was the first initial poke through that really hurt the most and the rest was kind of like just I had to breathe and just just go for it but um yeah and then last but not least for my piercings I got my nose pierced as you can tell, it's slightly red right now because I've been fucking around with it, but yeah, so I got this pierced for my 15th birthday um, this year, and um, yeah, it, I've been wanting it for like 34 years now. I've been begging my dad up and down, and uh, he finally let loose and took me um like two days before my birthday or whatever this is the actual like thing they pierced it with it's like a little diamond and this thing is really long in my nose which bugs me so i was like because it's been a while it's been like like four months no it's been like three months Okay, but still, that's, like, crazy. So, I figured it's been through a lot since I've got it, since, like, my boyfriend's hit it before, like, because we play around a lot, and I've caught it on stuff and, like, just whatever, and so it's had, like, a lot of, like, trauma done to it, so it took a lot to heal, and it, I don't think it's still fully healed, but I switched it out the other day this little hoop or whatever 
and it's a little small if you can't tell this is like the end of it right here freaking like it's small because oh that did not feel good i gotta clean it because it's been a little dry but um my mom gave me the hoop or whatever because she has her nose pierced and I got it pierced with a 20 gauge and this is a 22 gauge so it's smaller so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this in again but it's all it's all cool or whatever but um I think it's cute I like it and like yeah and I'm trying to order more or whatever because I like the hoops a lot but yeah so the paint on this it was actually a lot different than I really expected it to be it was more of like a like you, you know how needles are sharp obviously that's like duh <laughs> how they pierce it but it was more of like a dull like pain I guess like I don't really know how to describe it, but it didn't, like, hurt that bad. It just made my eyes water a little bit. Like, this, this one. It made this one, because it's on this side, or whatever. And, um, it didn't, like, hurt that bad, really. It just, it was a quick little, you know, go through, and it was a little, like, sore for a little bit. And then I had ended up, like, getting an infection or whatever. But I started doing sea salt soaks, cleaning it, da-da-da. I tried to stop touching it because I had a really big problem with touching it. Um, And also, I was using, like, skincare stuff. And so it was, like, oh, like, getting inside of it and yucking it up and stuff. And, yeah. Um, now I can, like, put whatever on my face and it's fine. I just got to you know, watch it, basically, but, uh, yeah, so, that's my piercings, um, and then, for my one tattoo, I have a little smiley face on my wrist, um, it's not really a smiley face, actually, because it's a stick and poke, I did it myself, because I'm smart, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's not really a smiley face, though, it's just kind of like a bleh face like a type of face you know um but it exp i mean that's like explains my mood on the daily so that's fun but yeah i just wanted to kind of try it out because i had bought indian ink online and i had needles just laying around my house like sewing needles and stuff like that and so i just looked up videos how to do it and i just did it to see if it would actually work because i was like skeptical like is this like really gonna work and um yeah I mean it worked and so I did it and I like I had the lines there and I was like well this kind of looks bogus um I can't just leave it like that so I had to do it over and over again after like over sessions I guess because it like hurt really bad and it's like one sin single needle and I'm not using like a machine obviously so it took me a couple weeks to get it full or whatever but uh yeah it was supposed to be a smiley face but it's not but a good thing is I did it on my friend's ankle and it actually came out like a smiley face like it was good but I feel like that's something I might get interested in like doing because I'm kind of lost like what I'm going to do after high school um and like tattooing piercing stuff like that might 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 be on my list because I don't know but um for the pain for this it's a, it hurt, but it wasn't that bad. It was probably like a six, to be honest. Because I've heard, like, some people say stick and pokes hurt more. Some people say they don't. Obviously, this is the only tattoo I've had is a stick and poke. And, you know, it hurt a decent amount. So, yeah. So, that is, like, all my piercings and my one tattoo. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did go ahead subscribe my social medias are also in the description so a little self promo but yeah peace out guys